Hi guys, I'm Lizzie Bloom and welcome to my channel. This is just another short video catch up from my allotment in the edge of the Forth and Clyde Canal. Today I'm just going to be hiking up some weeds in prep for breaking ground and popping down some cardboard in my next videos, just getting ready for that all important winter prep. This is probably going to be my last sunny day allotment video because it's all turning a wee bit and the chilly side's kind of a bit wintry over here in Scotland. Um, in this day we had a wee walk up the Forth and Clyde Canal and kicked about with Louise for a wee bit just getting a good few hours of allotment cleaning done. We finally hit the back of the allotment which I mentioned in the last video and by the end of this wee day's clearing I mean it all looked pretty much sorted to be honest with you bar the knotweed um, which we're going to get chopped and burnt very very soon because it cannot go in the normal compost bin far too invasive it'll just pop up again and just cause havoc um, so yeah that chap needs burned um, recommendations again for anyone starting a project like clearing an allotment space number one definitely enlist your pals um, Louise was such a massive massive hand in this and number two decent pair of gloves the, the number of cuts and scrapes and nettles and then bites and various insects I've got doing this but the gloves are just so so handy they save you a whole bunch of nasty business it's been a total graph to get this far um, but look at it we've actually made so much progress and I can finally start dreaming of what our new allotment is going to look like gutted I can't have any polytunnels or, or sheds or a greenhouse because of our particular allotments rules and um, that's another thing if you're new to allotmenting always get used to your allotments rules and um, just to check and see you're within them and um, but even though I can't have any of that stuff I mean I've still got this wee piece of land and I'm really really happy with it and I can start planning I'm so chuffed with that planning in mind I decided to have a wee peek around other people's allotment just to see what the crack was, to see what everyone else was growing and I have some serious allotment envy. Honestly, some of the spaces were producing so much food and so many cut flowers. The footage I've got totally does not do it justice. Um, shout out to the white trumpets, the white flowers that can be found all over our allotment. That's hedge bindweed. Uh, definitely my favourite weed I'd pretty much say. I think it's just so so pretty. It's, it's 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 not good to get rid of and it's not a good thing to have an allotment but you know what this time of year it's very pretty. Um, I'm really going to have to start planning my allotment space out soon so if anyone has any tools, if anyone has any tools or tips or a way they plan out their allotment please drop me a comment below. Are most people doing it using landscape drawings to plan out their space, using some of the apps I've seen kicking around, or do you just kind of wing it? Um, the aim for next year for me is to be totally veggie and salad self-sufficient and also to produce a really decent number of cut flowers as well. I'm a sucker for cut flowers. And another thing is I want to grow some weird veg. So I'm talking cookie melon. I think cookie melon, cookie melons are just totally funky. They look amazing and also loofahs although i don't know if loofahs can actually grow in scotland so maybe that's something for me to google as you can probably tell this video was shot a good couple of weeks ago before the weather got so dreek and wet really um absolutely can't believe i'm just wearing one jumper in this video bonkers and it's actually sunny um the weather now in scotland's turned back to its usual kind of vaguely baltic self um, so now I'm in a bit of a race against time to get everything kitted out and sorted for Christmas. That includes lifting that knockweed, getting it burned, um, digging up the soil, um, putting cardboard down in prep for winter and other kind of wintry activities as well. I I'm really interested to hear from other allotment owners on other things they do in the run up to the colder months. Is there any priorities you've got? Do you do anything with your soil? I've heard a lot of people putting fertilizer down um, before they pop down their tarps, but if anyone's got any advice, do leave me a top comment. I I'm after any hot tips you've got, really. Um, 
yeah, I was also thinking of buying some thick black plastic to put down um, just underneath my cardboard because I'm aware that it keeps down all those weeds and it also will make sure there's no sunlight getting in so anything that is in there won't be able to photosynthesis. But I'm not so hot on plastic so if anyone knows of any plastic alternatives to that black tarp also leave me a wee comment below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate all of the comments and the lovely messages I've got so far. It's really encouraging that everyone's so supportive of this allotment series. Uh, like I said, um, leave me a wee like and subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff. And I'm really interested in your thoughts and comments. So do all that. Um, bye guys. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.